To set about getting rich in a scientific way, you do not try to apply your willpower to anything outside of yourself. You have no right to do so anyway. It is wrong to apply your will to other men and women in order to get them to do what you wish done. It is as flagrantly wrong to coerce people by mental power as it is to coerce them by physical power. If compelling people by physical force to do things for you reduces them to slavery, compelling them by mental means accomplishes exactly the same thing. The only difference is in methods. If taking things from people by physical force is robbery, then taking things by mental force is robbery also. There is no difference in principle. You have no right to use your willpower upon another person, even if for his own good. For you do not know what is for his good. The science of getting rich does not require you to apply power or force to any person in any way whatsoever. There is not the slightest necessity for doing so. Indeed, any attempt to use your will upon others will only tend to defeat your purpose. You do not need to apply your will to things in order to compel them to come to you. That would simply be trying to coerce God. It would be foolish and useless, as well as irreverent. You do not have to compel God to give you good things, any more than you have to use your willpower to make the sun rise. You do not have to use your willpower to conquer an unfriendly deity, or to make stubborn and rebellious forces do your bidding. Substance is friendly to you, and is more anxious to give you what you want than you are to get it. To get rich, you need only to use your willpower upon yourself. When you know what to think and do, then you must use your will to compel yourself to think and do the right things. That is the legitimate use of the will in getting what you want, to use it in holding yourself to the right course. Use your will to keep yourself thinking and acting in a certain way. Do not try to project your will or your thoughts or your mind out into space to act on things or people. Keep your mind at home. It can accomplish more there than elsewhere. Use your mind to form a mental image of what you want and to hold that vision with faith and purpose and use your will to keep your mind working in the right way. The more steady and continuous your faith and purpose, the more rapidly you will get rich because you will make only positive impressions upon substance and you will not neutralize or offset them by negative impressions. The picture of your desires, held with faith and purpose, is taken up by the formless and permeates it to great distances, throughout the universe for all I know. As this impression spreads, all things are set moving towards its realization. Every living thing, every inanimate thing, and the things yet uncreated are stirred toward bringing it into being. All force begins to be exerted in that direction. All things begin to move toward you. The minds of people everywhere are influenced toward doing the things necessary to the fulfilling of your desires, and they work for you unconsciously. But you can check all this by starting a negative impression in the form of substance. Doubt or unbelief is as certain to start a movement away from you as faith and purpose are to start one toward you. It is by not understanding this that most people who try to make use of, quote, mental science in getting rich make their failure. Every hour and moment you spend in giving heed to doubts and fears, every hour you spend in worry, every hour in which your soul is possessed by unbelief, sets a current away from you in the whole domain of intelligent substance. All the promises are unto them that believe, and unto them only. Notice how insistent Jesus was upon this point of belief, and now you know the reason why. Since belief is all important, it behooves you to guard your thoughts, and as your beliefs will be shaped to a very great extent 